exercise 5.1 will get us through learning objective one. And this is a rather easy one. What we're asked to do here is just identify the type of costing system that you would use given the type of business that we're given. So let's have a look at what we have, which would be more appropriate in each of the following organizations, job order costing or process costing. Now I know we haven't gone into detail about process costing, that's in the next chapter. But you do understand the difference between job order and process costing. Process costing means that everything that comes out the other end is identical, absolutely the same. If it's not, it's job costing. So that's all we really have to decide is, is everything identical? And if it's not, it must be job. So let's go. A custom home builder. Well, it has the word custom right in the description. So it has to be job, right? B a golf course designer. Now if you believe that every single golf course looks exactly the same, I don't golf so to me they all look alike. Um, I'm a golf course racist, right? Uh, they all look alike but they are different really so you would be using job costing. C. A textbook publisher. Now this one I can understand if someone says well that's process. Well, if you have a textbook publisher that makes only one textbook, only one, and just prints one textbook, then yes, you're right, that would be process. But think about a textbook publisher. They have books in economics, in accounting, finance, management, biology, chemistry, physics, on and on and on. So each book is different. So it would be job costing. Let's go on to D and see what we have here, a business consultant. Well, every consulting job is not the same. If it was the same, you could just print out a recipe saying, do this, do this, do that, do this, and you're done. So obviously, it's job. So we could just think about the type of job it is and, 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 and figure it out from there, right? An oil refinery. Well, here we go. What, is, what comes out of an oil refinery? Do not say oil. <laughs> so many people fall into that trap. Oil does not go in to an oil refinery, sorry, out, it goes into an oil refinery. What comes out? 42 gallons of oil go in, 19 gallons of uh, gasoline come out, and you get uh, kerosene out of that as well. You get a whole bunch of other petroleum products, diesel fuel, etc. So what comes out is the same stuff over and over and over and over again. So process costing, because it is just a process. There is no job there. Uh, let's go on to F. With F, we have a soft drink bottler. What do you think? Now, you may argue, well, hang on now. They could be making Coca-Cola, then Diet Coke, then switch over to root beer, then grape soda. True, but if you ever bought a bottle of, of uh, cola or a bottle of soda, you'll find that it's the same price no matter what you buy. And it's pretty much the same thing in every bottle. It's just sugar water that'll poison you to death and kill your liver and you'll die slowly. Uh, but other than that, it's the same thing, right? So what is that? That is process. Exactly. It's the same thing over and over again. Let's go on to G. A film studio. Well, now, if every film were the same, that would be kind of boring. So I guess you could take romantic comedies and say, well, that's process costing because they're all the same. Or even worse, any Adam Sandler movie is all the same. Sure, I'll agree with that. That's process costing. But typically... We're looking at job costing. H, a firm that supervises bridge construction projects. Well, every bridge is different. That's all we have to know is, is if every job is different, it's job costing. A manufacturer of fine custom jewelry. Well, it has the word custom right in there, so we know to put job. J, a paint factory. Now you can argue, somebody may say, well, no, because there are different colors of paint. The colors must cost money, all the different colors of paint. You would be wrong. There is only one color of paint, and it's white. It's process costing. And you may say, no, there are many colors of paint. Think carefully about how you get colored paint. You go to the store, you buy white paint, and then they put the color in it after. All paint is white. Process. Okay. An auto repair shop. Well, that has to be job because I may go in for an oil change and you're going in for a transmission change. We're going to pay different amounts, right? And finally, L, 
a factory making frozen orange juice concentrate. Well, it's the same thing over and over again. So we have process. So you should be able to identify the difference between process costing and job costing. That was fairly straightforward and easy, I think. All right, let's move on to exercise 5.2. Here we'll be covering our second learning objective which is computing job costs. Weaver Company's predetermined overhead rate is $18 per hour. POR equals $18. Oops. $18. Uh, per direct labor hour. Per direct labor hour. Okay. And its direct, la direct labor wage rate is $12 per hour. So let's make a note of that. Our wage rate is $12 per hour. Good. The following information pertains to job A200. So we have direct materials of $200 and we're told we have direct labor of $120. And this belongs to job A200. Required. What is the total manufacturing cost assigned to job A200? Okay, so our total cost, remember, they consist of three things. They consist of direct materials, which we're told are 200, so let's make a note of that here. They consist of direct labor, which we're told is 120, and they consist of manufacturing overhead. Well, now we have to figure that out. We're told it's $18 per direct labor hour, but we're not given any hours, we're just given a total. But we do know that our wage rate is $12, so if we take the total that we paid, divided by how much we pay per hour means we've incurred 10 hours of direct labor. And since this is charged at manufacturing overhead, it's charged at $18 per direct labor hour, we multiply the 10 by the 18, we get 180 for manufacturing overhead, which means we have $500 charged to job A200. Number two, if job A200 consists of 50 units, what is the average cost for each unit? Okay, so number two, we know that we have 50 units. Many of you have probably already solved this and clicked stop on the video, but average cost equals our total cost over our number of units, right? So if our total cost is 500 and the number of units is 50, we get ten dollars per unit. That was a nice simple easy one. It required one step. Uh, sometimes we're not given the information in the form we want. Uh, that just reflects reality. The world will rarely ever give you information just in the form you want. You always have to figure out what's the relevant information I need and if I don't have it in the form I want, how do I get it there? Here we were given just the total direct labor cost but we have a clue that it was $12 per hour. So our first step was to, to work backwards to get the number of hours and then continue to work forwards by multiplying it by the overhead rate. So when you read a question, um, don't assume that all the information there is the information in the form you need. You might have to do some work to get the numbers you need.